In the last video we looked at Pearson's linear correlation, uh, which was appropriate for measuring the linear association between two quantitative variables. And in this video we're going to look at uh, an alternative measure of the association between two variables called um, Spearman's rank correlation. So we've got some other data here that we can look at. And this is data on uh, an experiment that was done with um, an Indian rope trick. And the data measures the number of years that have elapsed between witnessing uh, the event and then writing the account. So witnessing an Indian rope trick and then writing about it and then the other variable is impressiveness score. So the impressiveness of the written account. So let's uh, take a look at a scatter plot of the data to see what's going on. So we can see that uh, the impressiveness score uh, ranges between 1 and 5. It's either one or two or three or four or five. So this type of data doesn't really lend itself very well to calculating Pearson's linear correlation coefficient. Um, and the reason is that uh, Pearson's correlation is most meaningful in situations where the two variables have what's known as a bivariate normal distribution. So individually both variables are normal, but together they have what's called a bivariate normal distribution. And so because the impressiveness score here is, is discrete, it can only have one of five values, um, it's, it's not normally distributed. And so the two variables together don't have a bivariate normal distribution and so although we could calculate Pearson's linear correlation coefficient here it wouldn't be that meaningful. And so in situations like that where um, one or both of the variables aren't normal um, and perhaps one of them is, is discrete like, like impressiveness score is in this case then uh, an alternative is Spearman's rank correlation. And Spearman's rank correlation is essentially Pearson's linear correlation calculated on the ranks of the data rather than the data themselves. So although this all looks very complicated, it's, it's actually fairly straightforward. All we do is calculate the ranks of the data so let me just show you what's going on there. So here's the... We're going to do the ranks for both variables. We've got two variables here. Uh, let me just show you the example for one of them, just so you can see what's going on. So here's the, the years variable, and then here's the ranks of those values. So... Um, it, it turns out that the years have been put in order, so this is pretty straightforward. Um, but the ranks, uh, the lowest value is 2, so that gets a rank of 1. Uh, but then we have two values equal to each other that are the next lowest. And so, oh no, they're not quite in order, are they? Here's the next lowest, is 4, so that gets a rank of 2. And then the next two, so the, the third and the fourth are both have the same value, so their average rank is 3.5. And then the next two must be these two, so this is the fifth and the sixth in order, and so they get a rank of 5.5 each, and so on all the way to the end. These are the two largest values um, out, of, out of 21, so this is the 20th and the 21st and so they get an average rank of 20.5 each. Once we've got the ranks of the two variables, then 
we just uh, we could we can go through the hand calculation again or instead a little more quickly we can just apply the core dot test function to the uh, we could we could either apply it to the ranks or there's a method argument that we can use so actually let me show you let me show you that this would be the same if I if I just applied the Pearson method to uh, so we've got core test up here I think so see the methods can be Pearson or Kendall or Spearman so we're using Spearman here uh, but in the last video we used Pearson so let me just change this to actually I don't want to do it there I want to do it here so let me change that to Pearson and let's put the ranks in here and run that oh what happened okay it's called cool. they called it impressiveness rank there we go 0.7843363 Okay, so Pearson's correlation calculated on the ranks gives you Spearman's correlation calculated on the original data. Okay, so either, either way we get the same number. Okay, so uh, again, it's really only meaningful if we put it in context uh, into the context of the scatter plot of the data. So we've got a Spearman's rank correlation between these two variables of 0.784. Um, and we can we can we can see that in the graph as the number of years have elapsed, uh, the impressiveness score of the trick increases. So uh, so people weren't super impressed if they wrote the account pretty soon after they witnessed it whereas if if it was if it was a long time ago that they were writing about it they were more likely to be impressed by what they saw so uh, an interesting study about memory here okay so uh, in the last two videos we've looked at correlation and then in the next series of videos we're going to look at simple linear regression which again is a method for looking at the association between two quantitative variables um, but it goes a lot further than correlation does and it builds a whole model around that association.